I am today supposed to speak over the lifeless body of this young family. Bafana Mutir. Norms, his wife. And Lerato, a beautiful little girl. It seems like yesterday, when Mafane and I argued over ideas and visions we had in this life. But we could never come to an agreement, you see. I can just see Nomsa sitting across the room, looking at him, her face brimming with affection for him. And the Rato, their sprightly little girl, bringing heaven down into that hole. But that was yesterday. Today they lay here before us, tearing our heart so and bringing tears to our eyes. I'm supposed to say something, and I do not know what to say. Perhaps I should say, rest in peace, my brother. So, Tibanara, Kweliza. But we all know that I cannot say such a thing. He will never rest in peace. He died a horrible death, screaming like a goat, begging for the life of his loved ones at the hands of a merciless mob. They emptied their bullets into his chest while his wife and his child looked on. As if that was not enough, they raped Nomsa while Lerato, the little girl, stood there crying. The little girl watched her mother gasp for air when she could not cry any longer. She saw too as the men took turns on her mother. And then they dragged her around the room, blood dripping between her legs, writing things on the floor. I imagine the little girl's face, shocked at the horrible face of the world, the world we created. She beheld this spectacle. And when her mother took her last breath, she felt something move inside of her chest. And little did she know that she was feeling for the very first time what it feels like to be a woman in this new democratic South Africa. Angry! bitter and helpless at the hands of the male species. And then they shot her in the head and they took her father's car. And now the blood of this young family will be the testament of the whirlwind that this nation will reap for its fascination with blood and the killings of the innocent. Our children will reap the bitter fruit. For these children see too much blood. Blood and killings. I do not hate black people. I hate them for hating each other. 